Hey, what's up guys? So uh, I got a couple kind of uh, must-have accessories um, that I think is very important with the Seastar S50 uh, Smart Telescope. This is the little guy right here. So this is the Smart Telescope. Um, you know, it comes with this uh, standard tripod carbon fiber, which is very nice um, if you have like a tall table or you live in a you know area that has like a lot of open space where i'm at in my back patio i got walls I got patios i got that wall neighbor's wall so i'm surrounded by this tall wall right here right so when i have my scope mounted let's say on the ground here um i would have to clear these walls here to kind of get a good visual of the night sky many times Certain objects, when it's like right overhead, I can see it, but when it's like, you know, uh, 30, 40 degrees um, on the horizon, it has a hard time detecting it because the wall, the roofs here, you know, the patio blocks all of that uh, objects in the night sky. So I have this tripod here, which is uh, very helpful with mounting my telescope higher so that way I can see more above the wall and stuff like that. Um, it's got adjustable sections here, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to extend it just because I'm holding the phone with one hand, but you can see the legs are three section. Um, also here, the base can go higher or lower, or the stem, and you can lock it down. And I mean, this thing is very solid. Some people may think that if you have the scope uh, mounted on to the top of here, it's going to be very tip heavy or something like top heavy. It's going to fall over. I haven't had any issues. And when the legs extend out, it's very rigid. It's even adjustable here so that I can put the legs further or wider if I wanted to. So I mean, it's a very versatile tripod. Um, this is this, uh, what is it called? A uh, Horus Ben, Benu? But I mean, if you go to Amazon or eBay, you can probably find similar tripods that is just under different names, but this is a all carbon fiber or carbon fiber um, legs with the metal uh, mounts here. Um, it did come with a little ball head, but I took off the ball head because it so happened to be that three eighth inch um, screw, which fits perfect under um, the base here of the C-Star right um, so that really helps me capture or see more uh, objects in the night sky um, another important thing is this guy right here I actually love this guy um, basically the C star has a built-in battery which works great but um, I've noticed depending on how long you're shooting um, I can go through a battery in one night easy sometimes I'll you know power on my telescope start recording a couple objects here and there watch some drama on Netflix and then after a couple episodes of drama the battery would be very low especially when a dew heater is on so this right here is a portable kind of power bank I have a couple of those old or kind of cheaper um, power banks for my cell phone which works great at charging my cell phone however I noticed that none of my power banks can actually charge um, this as is operating it does provide power to the telescope however excuse my foot right there guys it's a little bit uh ugly but um you know the problem with my power banks that i have for my cell phone is that it will charge the c star when it's powered off no problem but when the c star is on and operating with the dew heater and all that stuff um my power bank does not charge um, the battery as it's going. It provides a little bit of power, but my battery still drains no matter which one of my power banks that I'm using. Uh, this power bank here just connects to uh, my Ryobi batteries. This is a Symic battery um, power bank adapter thingobob, um, power supply, whatever. But you can find it on Amazon. Uh, I believe the retail is for like 50 bucks, whatever. But it's got these ports back here, and you can see it's got three ports which is very nice. It's got that LED lights so I can see at night, but um, the top port is bi-directional. You can charge um, this battery using your USB charger without having to remove the battery, which is nice. But it also provides um, PD up to like 100 watts. And then same thing, another USB-C and a USB-A, which is a full-size USB, and you can see
And then I have a couple of these Ryobi batteries that I bought, you know, when I bought my house, I bought some little leaf blowers and garden tools and I have a couple of these batteries and this thing is actually very powerful. I can charge this as it's operating. I can see the battery uh, voltage or the battery percentage increase instead of decrease as I'm charging it and using it at the same time. So very nice. And also if I'm outside, I can charge my cell phone because when you're um, <clears throat> doing a live stack, your cell phone's always gonna be on, it doesn't turn off. So your battery does drain, so I can charge both the telescope and my phone, which is very, very nice. Just gonna power it on, give you guys a short little brief. It's an OLED, uh, I guess my cell phone, I can't adjust the frame rate, um, but it's supposed to be solid, but I guess, you know, with the LED screens and the OLED stuff, you can see it kind of roll up, but you can see battery percentage. Um, you know how much power current you're using so which is very very nice but unfortunately with my phone it's not able to show the screen correctly oh and a light very nice too at night especially at night you're trying to look around the ground for something it's got a little LED light adjustable and just go ahead power it off so yeah that's my uh, video um, on the C Star, kind of like some accessories that I think is very helpful. I've seen some guys buy uh, the little, the three screw level uh, base right here uh, to level their um, to level their C Star. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, if it's off level, it's very simple. Just pretty much tilt the scope, tap on the the level option, and it'll bring it to the screen. And then you just adjust the legs higher or lower until the dots are within that two degrees. Um, no, you, you, you could try to go down precisely one degree, half a degree, or even try to zero if you can. I haven't really noticed much difference between zero degree uh, versus, you know, one degree or even three. If, as long as that bubble is green, you're good to go. Um, the scope does that little, it does uh, images of the night sky, so it knows where it's at. It knows where to go. It knows how to align, so you're not going to have any issues. Um, yeah, whip that but this tripod it's very handy you know what i'm gonna just give you guys an, a, a demo of just the legs here so the legs go pretty far um so i know some people may be wondering how much longer does it go but pretty much not a good demo one hand guys sorry instead of pausing it and cut back i just want to do a one complete video here with this one take uh been too lazy all of my computers are old to even do any editing these days because they're not up to date um, buying all the new tech especially with the new telescope you can see here the base is pretty wide and now it is much taller you know you can see the telescope is uh, slightly below the wall if I wanted to I can bring this up and once I lock it down I mean it's solid like it doesn't move you can see there's no wiggling I'm, I'm doing this right now now if I push it then yeah obviously I can move the legs but wiggling like this it doesn't go you can see how nice that is and compare the stock tripod versus this guy for my backyard purposes this tripod it's 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 worth that upgrade I love it so there you guys go hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I'll try to get some more videos of the actual review on the Sea Star. I love this telescope, but it does have its drawbacks um, for what it is. But overall, I love it. It's awesome. Takes great images, but not really HD in my opinion. But to know what's up there, to get an idea of what you can achieve uh, with the smart telescopes, it's amazing. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.